Good morning. How are you? It's Friday. Yay. So excited about that. Can you tell? I'm like jumping up for joy. No, I'm sitting down today. We had a really wicked workout. It was tough. It was awesome. Loved it. Wanted to come live to you guys and talk about something that's kind of, re well, it resonated with me obviously because I want to talk about it and it's creating the life that you want. Um, I listened to one of the biggest inspirations in my life, which is Darren Hardy. Got to see him live last year, which was amazing. Hey, Sean, how's it going? Uh, he's one incredible man and he really puts things into perspective for me. And that's something I will tell you is if you're looking for personal development, check out Darren Hardy or at least like just YouTube people to find someone that really resonates with you that you really understand and get. Um, he is someone that definitely resonates with me and helps me put everything into perspective, no matter what it is he's talking about. Um, so he, he talked about creating the life you want and it's interesting what he said. So I can't remember word for word. Good morning, Amanda. How are you? Um, I can't remember word for word, but he really just talked about the power of thought and, and what we think about, we really create in our world. And I know some people say, you know, that's, that's the secret or it's, it's mumbo jumbo type of thing. But really what we think is what we create, right? We are creators. We, we are the creators of our own destiny. And if you're going to, you know, like I, I think, I think to myself every night, I lay my workout stuff out. I get my workout area ready and I'm, I'm going to work out in the morning. I tell myself I'm going to do it. I get up and do it, right? Good morning, Gina. Um, it's if, if I have a big goal I want to hit and I just, I write out my goals weekly. So for me, I'm constantly thinking about my goals, what I want to do, whether it's with, you know, my business or, or, you know, personal life, whatever it may be. I write them out every week. I, I write them out almost every day. Uh, because I want to envision them. I want to create them. And if I'm looking at them every day, they're actually written on my whiteboard as well um, in my office. But if I'm seeing those every day, it's a constant reminder that I need to get up off my butt and take action to create those goals to, so I can hit those goals. Um, so it's, it's really when you envision something and think, you know, your, the power of your thoughts combined with those two things, you really go after the things you want. Now, something else he talked about was expectations. You know, we expect, like, what do you expect for yourself? Do you expect from others or do you expect something? I can't explain it properly. He said it so well too. Good morning, everyone. Um, like, what do I expect for my life? And what I used to expect was that I would have to go to work nine to five and I would like, I would go pick up, rush to pick up the kids from school. Sorry, rush to drive them to school. And you know how hard it is to get kids out of bed and get ready and go to school. So I would do that. And of course they're picky eaters. So breakfast was brutal. And then, you know, driving them to school, rushing, and then rushing to work, working that nine to five, and then rushing to pick them up from aftercare, wherever they were, to come home, to rush to cook dinner, to rush for, for uh, homework, to rush to bath time, to rush to bed, to do it all over again, five days a week. And that was my expectation out of life. That is what I thought that, that I had to do. That is what I thought was my life. And yeah, I was happy being a mom and, and loving my kids. And I can tell you, I, I love them up. Like, just like all of you, you love your kids up. But when you think that's the only route your life, like where it has to go, that's your expectation of your life and kind of feeling unhappy inside because you feel the rush, you feel the daily grind. You feel like you're literally, like you're living for everyone else. Like that's how I felt. I felt like I was completely living for everyone else. And that was my expectation out of my life because I didn't know any different. I didn't do personal development. The power of my thought was negative. I, I thought, you know, I had to make everyone else happy around me if I knew them or not. Like, even if I just met someone, I thought, you know, I had to be the person they wanted me to be for them to like me. And you know, I think my expectation out of my life before was just, you know, it, it wasn't, 
I don't think it was right. And, and I don't even know how to explain that more than that. <laughs> But it was kind of sad, right? To think everyone had to love me, first of all. To think that I had to run my life by everybody, everyone else's time and, and just, you know, be the perfect employee, which, by the way, I am pretty awesome. <laughs> That's not an ego thing. We should all be awesome at what we're doing. Um, and just, you know, I, I thought this was my life. This was the expectation I had for my life. I had created this, right? I had created this. And, and what I learned through coaching and now this wonderful business is that I create my future. I get to create whether or not I'm my own CEO or if I work for someone else, nine to five, Monday to Friday, rushing my kids to school, rushing to pick them up, rushing to feed them, rushing to put them in bed because I want mommy time alone away from them. Like that is ridiculous. When your kids, you guys can, I know you mamas get this. When you have your newborn, you are like, oh my God, like let me hold my baby every day, all day, 24 hours, you are soaking them up, loving them. And then when they get to school age and you're working nine to five and grinding hard and cooking and cleaning and homework and being overwhelmed with everything, you just want them to go to bed, right? Like I need to get an amen up in here, guys. Hearts, like anything. I know you feel this. I felt this completely. So what I have done now, learning through personal development and really changing my mindset and self-talk and, and learning that I am creating my own future. I am, I am creating the future for my children, for my grandchildren, and, and I'm teaching them that they, they are the creators of their destiny. They don't need to be rushed. They could be their own CEO if they want to, and they don't need that hard daily grind that makes them miserable inside. Like, we have that. We all have those times. We do. We do. It's just, it's life. It's how it is. But that's, that's what I'm most excited for, is creating something that they can look up to, creating a mom they can look up to and be like, hey, I can do this too. I don't need to live unhappily. I can change the power of my thought and, and change my own destiny by being that creator to create anything I absolutely want in my life. I don't need to think that the creation of my life is supposed to be rushing, unhappy, driving in traffic to rush to pick up my kids, to rush to put them to bed, to rush to want mommy or daddy time, to rush to do it all over again and again, and that cycle begins, and then that's when I became really unhappy, that's when I gained a ton of weight and thought that's what my life was supposed to be, and I was unhealthy, and I felt terrible, and I felt, felt I was just not good enough for anyone, including myself, and that is when I realized my life needed to change and it's gone to this. So you are the creator of your own life. You are the creator of your own destiny. Do something for you. Do something for your future children, for your future grandkids, what, whoever it may be. Just do something for you. Create the life that you want because the life you create by your expectations is, it's, it's, it's just, oh man, I'm losing my power. I'm losing my thought because I'm thinking. It's, this life you create is the life you are going to live. So create a good one. Create one where you don't want to rush your littles to bed. Create one where you can do whatever it is you love. Whatever it is you love. What do you love? What are you passionate about? That's what will make you happy. It will. It will make you feel complete. Not only, you know, loving your loved ones feeling complete, but like it makes you complete. You need that in your life. Because if you don't, you're going to live a long life very unhappy and then have regrets at the end and you don't want regrets. We, none of us do. So do something today to create your, the life that you want. And if you need to chat, I'm here. All right, bye guys, have a wicked Friday. I will see y'all later, ciao.